Hey everybody, it's I, Dragon Zero. I'm back at it again with another quick time review. This time it's for Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, which I saw last week. Um, yeah, no, so I apologize again. I'm um, just, you know, I'm, as I said, I was going through some stuff. I'm worried, I've been working a lot, so. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, um, yeah, I enjoyed the movie. It was actually a pretty good, um, sequel to the original Beetlejuice movie. I think Michael Keaton still does a great job playing the character, despite it being almost 30 years since he played this character, and it's just really funny. And, like, he does a great job, you know, there's a few moments where he's, like, lip thinking to some of the music, man, and it's just really cool, funny, just to see him and Reno and a rider together again, you know, because she's doing her thing with Stranger Things, you know, so it's always cool to see her come back to her first ever character to ever play, you know, on screen, which is, um, really cool, and I, I, I hope, I would like to see a sequel, because this, this was actually really fun, um, I do think Jenna Ortega's character was pretty, um, alright, but to be honest with you, they kind of, like, I don't know, there's, I feel like there's some missing stuff. I think this movie probably could have actually done a little bit better longer. I usually complain about length and stuff, you know, like, but I think it would have been good to have, like, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, of, um, of the, um, of her character and the villain, kind of, basically she meets a guy who ends up trying to take her to hell, basically, or the, um, the rest, or whatever, you know, and it just ends up not work, like, they end up, it, it, it's weird, they don't really explain that, you know, and, like, Beetlejuice ends up having, like, some old um, woman follow him, or something from, like, the old days, from, like, like, um, middle, um, not Middle Earth times, um, uh, Middle, the Dark Ages, yeah, the Dark Ages, of like 1300, or Black Plague era, whatever, the Black Death, yeah, and it's like, basically shows him showing, te like, showing teeth, and how he just, it's actually pretty funny, to be honest with you, it's like, uh, it's like, he still got it, and he just does a fantastic job playing that comedy character and I do hope we get to see him some more Michael Cole Keaton in some comedy roles because he does a damn good job with it man he might be in his 70 but fuck it man still got it he, like he still has the care like the charisma charisma um to play the Beetlejuice and Batman or whoever you know he still got it like they definitely need to start bringing him back for other projects so but yeah, no, this was still, like, a very solid film. Uh, there, I do, as I said before, they do need it. They, I wish they had a little bit more extra time to explain stuff. So, you know, maybe we'll see some deleted scenes or something where they extend some of the scenes, you know. But overall, this was a really good movie. I recommend y'all go see it in theaters. I'd probably give it a 7.5, 8 out of 10. It's in between there, because there are some issues, like as I said, some of the characters are, need a little bit more explaining, you know, and, yeah, and also, um, uh, Winona Ryder's, um, boyfriend in here, he's pretty weird, you know, they kind of make him up as, like, a schmuck, you know, but, yeah, but, yeah, anyway, yeah, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I, I recommend going to see it, but I would probably wait till, like, after, like, it's been out for a while, maybe go see it for a discount or something, but it's still a really solid movie, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'm Dragon, and I'll see you next time, peace.